Fora TV. The world is thinking. What I thought I'd do is, is kind of wrap up by talking about the benchmarks that I've used when I go into report in these places, and there's essentially three of them, where I kind of use the barometer to see, are things really getting better? Are they basically staying steady, or are things getting worse? The first, the first benchmark I, I use is looking at how successful has the American military and the American government in general been in, in terms of dealing with cultural sensitivity. In other words, do we get it? And I'll relay one story of one of my early embeds in 2003, in December of 2003, where I was embedded with an army infantry unit in the city of Samara, which is just north of Baghdad. And this unit got in order, and it got some intelligence. Essentially, that there was an, a, uh, an extremist safe house that they believed would be a good place to raid. And so we, I was out with them, and we mounted up. It was about 40 or 50 soldiers. We'd go on a night raid. And we got to the door of this home. It was kind of in a residential neighborhood. And uh, banged on the door. Nobody answers. One of the soldiers pulls out a huge shotgun and literally blows the door open. And as the door blows open, we're in the middle of the night now, remember, moonless night, just this stream of soldiers pours into this house. Everybody's wearing night vision goggles, you know, full combat gear. We had arrived, if you will, uh, with dogs barking. So I'm not quite sure how much, there, how much surprise there was in this. But the house, you're going through this house, you know, several bedrooms of this house, in just kind of an organized chaos, of roaring of people yelling and shouting. Uh, they grab, there's maybe about, a, it turns out about a dozen Iraqi men in this, in, this, in this home. They're put off in one area, about an equal number of women and children. They're screaming and hollering, put them over in another area. Troops are going through closets, the cupboards, whatever they can do to try and find the computer disks, the caches of money and weaponry they thought, and they said, they, the intelligence said was going to be there. Well, after about an hour, there was a little pile in the middle of the living room. There was an antique musket, there was some papers, and there was a bunch of old ammunition. And that was about it. And as one of the intelligence officials looked over at me and said, this was, this was basically a dry hole. Well, the young army captain who led this raid, he's looking at all this and kind of surveying the damage. You've got a busted door and a shattered television from when they blew it open. And so he summons over one of the Iraqi men, one of the older men that's in the, uh, in the you know, over there kind of quaking in the corner. And he's got his Arabic translator with him. And he pulls out of his pocket a wad of $100 bills. And he peels off three of these bills. And he turns to the translator and says, I want you to, you know, understand that we've, we've created some damage here. We didn't get what we needed. But we want to reimburse you for the damage that's being done. And he hands this money to this Iraqi who is just looking dumbfounded at this whole scene. Then the guy pulls out a blue receipt book and says, oh, by the way, I need you to sign a receipt for the damages here. So they're trying to do the right thing. But as you go out of this building, you've alienated two dozen Iraqis who at, who at best were leaning forward, maybe in support of the Americans at this point. Because remember, it's December of 2003. They haven't quite caught Saddam yet. Or at the very worst, maybe they were leaning on the fence. But they're not leaning on the fence anymore after something like this. And, no, and pretty much anybody in this neighborhood is not going to be leaning on their fence after that. Um, the U.S. patrol and raid tactics have improved somewhat after that. There's a little bit more sensitivity that goes into this. But still, too many of the type of operations that the American military performs, uh, they go in, unfortunately, on faulty intelligence. Sometimes the worst of outcomes, as we've seen in the tragedy in Haditha, for instance, where several civilians were killed uh, by a Marine unit there.